Hi everybody. Uh, we're here in, well, where are we, Bartek? Well, we are in Ostruda. I Ostruda. Think. This is our camp here. Uh, Bartek is the director of this camp, and we just want to take a few minutes to tell you what's going on here. Uh, Bartek, why don't you begin by telling us, this is your chapel. It's not my chapel, but this is a camp's chapel. The yeah, camp that's, chapel. That's true. Yeah. Which uh, last year I was using to make uh, sermons. To yeah. make uh, you, to preach. good thing to, to preach, to, uh, to make a good things for the kids, for yeah. adults. And now uh, we switched switch it into a big um, dormitory. Yeah. 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 It's a sepalnia. Yeah. It's a dormitory. There's beds and dividers. We can't go in there and film. Uh, we may be able to throw up a few pictures uh, later, but we've got refugees from Ukraine staying in there. Um, we've got over here. Let's move over sure. here. So we will show you. Yeah. In here, this is a huge uh, storage facility. People from the town have brought clothes and toys and whatnot. Uh, we've got people coming from the Ukraine and it, it's, it's almost like a transit center because a lot of them come and then they move on. Uh, but they get here and they don't have enough clothes with them because they just yeah. basically took off, right? Most of them sit to our buses, to our, to our cars, just like they stand. Yeah, they without, just, without anything. Yeah, they just came with the clothes they were wearing yeah. and uh, here they are. Now, let's walk over. I want to show you the cabins. You want to go with, you want to go with you? Yeah, you, of course I want you to go with you. Okay. Now these cabins, Bartek, they were only used in the summertime. Oh yeah. But when all these folks from Ukraine showed up, what happened? This is one of the biggest testimonies of this time for us because those cabins were used only okay. in, a, in the summertime. Yeah. Uh, we didn't need them to be to be heated, but from now, from the from the moment where people we, yeah. we decided to put people in there, yeah, we needed to give them uh, heated space. Heat. Yeah. So we were trying to put some electrical heaters inside. Yeah. But when we did it, um, you kept blowing the fuses. Shit, yes. Yeah. The old electric cables are too weak for that. Yeah. So we asked people from here from Ostruda to help us uh, deal with that. Yeah. And there were there came many uh, many people which we even don't know they name their names. And they helped us to do this thing. They paid for all the cables, right? For the stuff. Uh, and they did something which we couldn't do or there was not no need to do it, right? For over 30 years. They did it in a 4 hours. In 4 hours. So these places were converted to higher uh, power level so yes. they can put heaters in. I want to just tell you real quick, the reason we're showing you this, particularly the chapel, is we have 10 other churches in Poland here that we want to use in the same way. And that's one of the things that we're raising funds for. Uh, we're showing you this because this is a place that's operating and working. And uh, and we just thank the Lord for that. But there's, there's like 1.5 million uh, Ukrainians now in Poland. And so we need to find more places for them to stay. And so this, this is a really good example. They don't all have cabins because this is a camp, but we've got 10 churches where we want to get enough equipment so that they can house yes. uh, people there. I don't know if you heard that. We Now we have one and a half million yeah. of people, but yeah. that will came in about five million. Yeah, they're saying it's going to go up to five million people. Yeah. So, so we need places we yeah. need that for them. Yeah, and I want to remind everybody this is not a sprint, this is a marathon. Yeah. So we need to keep praying and, and we need to keep helping. Uh, and these guys have done it on their own basically with local help, uh, but this ain't gonna be able to go on and on and on. We're gonna have to look at the long range plans and, and, and just keep praying. So that's it for now.